Hi, teacher. Teacher. Oh, you are my well. God. What How happened? Are you? Fíjate que I, I don't... was talking about you. Ha, na, na, na. Me... Oh, oh my God. Just... You know, how many, a, how many beers did you it's buy for Max, teacher? I t <laughs> you remember what I was telling you? Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. And now, uh, let me see if it's, let me see if it's, if it's still recording. Oh, my God. You know what? This is all Nieves' fault. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's probably... Oh, geez. Okay. Got it. Thank you, guys. And I'm sorry for that. Let me see. I can't even, I can't even type. It's okay, Iris. That's what I wanted to put. Sorry. Hey, teacher. Yes, George. Max, Max says, hey, teacher, hurry up with me. Oh, hey. man. With, with <laughs> my beer? <laughs> with, the, with the beer, <laughs> with the radio. <laughs> That's yeah. good. Now, now, Max, I don't know how you feel about the regias, but did you know that regia. No, a, I don't like it. Well, well, <laughs> for, a, for for the longest time, I regia, understand you. I understand. The, the regia had been the only beer in El Salvador mm. that had actually won an award for yeah, best really? beer. Yeah. Yeah. And then I, I just drank uh, one cholita. Oh, okay. All right. Me, uh, a few minutes ago. Oh, Maricela, <laughs> so, that. Yes. Y nosotros aquí como que apagando el inter para ver cómo nos afamos. You know, it's, a, <laughs> it's not happening. <laughs> como es la regla de quinta. I my house and there are uh, accidents in Comalapa. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean in uh, uh, 200 meters. Yeah. So, it's very heavy. Oh, man. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, I, I feel you. I feel you, Marisela. I feel you. Well, I'm, I'm, you know, we're glad that you guys and everybody's here. Uh, really good to see you guys here. Uh, Radios for everybody. Yes, Iris. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Primer ronda. Y la ronda nunca se acaba. All right. Um, to finish off the course, right, we were doing kind of like a little bit of prep work. And so I wanted to show you guys a few things. So let me, let me start off with what we were working on yesterday. Do you guys remember what we were working on yesterday? What were we working on yesterday? Yesterday we were working on intonation. There we go, right? There we go. So we, we were, we had these exercises going. Let me go ahead and show it to you guys. And here it is, right? And we were doing some of these. I bought a car on Tuesday. We did another one, which was I took a bus to the park. Right? Okay. Well, that was only a portion of it, right? Because then we had these. Did we get a chance to do these? I'll build a fire in the fireplace. I guess someone read that. Somebody read this one? How about uh, the just Josh? Once. Just once. And how about the Josh is reading a newspaper article? How did that? No, yes. kind of that. All right. All right. So kind of to, just to, you know, just to kind of go back and do a quick little review, right? Pronunciation. Pronunciation uses a few things. Okay. We have the rhythm the intonation and the stress. This one, like this, we didn't see it yesterday because I was kind of rushing a little bit, but today I think we could talk about it, okay? The rhythm is important because it allows the person who's talking to you to get a reaction or to be able to react. How can you tell something's exciting? How can you tell something's boring? How can you tell something's scary? The rhythm tells you that, right? What are we talking about? Where did you go? What did you do? And so the rhythm allows you to do that. And intonation. Ah, the intonation. I think intonation is one of the best possible tools that you could have with pronunciation. Uh, 
when you're telling a story, have you guys ever heard of a, well, have you guys ever gone to a place and somebody's told you a story and you guys were saying, oh my God, how boring. This story is so boring. Even though maybe the story is not boring, you know, maybe it was a really exciting story. It's just the way that they were telling you the story was not so exciting. So that means that intonation played a part. Okay. Somebody failed with their intonation when they were telling you this story. So rhythm, intonation, and then the stress, which is the syllables that you're using, the words that you're choosing, and how are you sounding those out? All of these three things go together. So when we talk about pronunciation or somebody tells you, hey, man, you have good pronunciation, that means that you have good rhythm. That means that your intonation is on. And the stress on the words is also on the mark. So all of those three things come together when we have a sentence. All right. I bought a car on Tuesday. Raf, hello, hello, Raf. Welcome aboard, sir. I took a bus to the park is another example. I'll build a fire in the fireplace. Josh is reading a newspaper article. These are all examples of you guys using your rhythm to tell a story. Little dot, big dot, little dot, big dot, little dot, big dot, little dot. Depending on how you're telling that story, that might change, right? Little dot, big dot, little dot, big dot, little, little dot, big dot. And then on the final ones, we actually have two little dots before the big dots. So big dot, little dot, big dot, little, little, big. And those are different rhythms that you use all based on the conversation that you're having. And so the more that you guys use this, the better you get. Now, pronunciation is important because you guys mentioned it yesterday. It makes it sound like you are fluent. All right. So. What are we using pronunciation and how can we tell which little dot or big dot? Each big dot, you could say that is a big word or a content word. Nouns, main verbs, adjectives, adverbs, frequency, uh, I'm sorry, adverbs and negatives. The description and some of the examples, right? Patty, Seattle, happiness, carefully, and then we have the function words. And these are all the little ones, right? I, A, N, the, so on. And how does that sound in an actual conversation? Give this role play a quick read and see if you guys can tell me where that is from. Let's see if you guys can do it. Anybody, anybody want to take a wild guess where we took this role play or this, this interaction from? It's from a movie. It's not that old. It's not that new. It is an animation. Anybody? No, sure. No teacher. No, no. Not teacher. Oh my! Oh my goodness! All right. I it's from the, it's from the movie The Incredibles. 
Oh. The Incredibles. Incredibles. All right. So what 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 is going on here? Well, this is an example of that rhythm, right? If somebody's talking to you slow, you are also going to slow down. If somebody's talking to you in a fast pace, you want to pick that pace up and kind of match it. You always have to try to match it. If somebody's talking to you slow, you match to slow. If somebody's talking to you fast, you, you match and try to talk a little bit faster, right? You're always trying to match how everybody else is talking to you, okay? And so that means that if somebody has a lot of rhythm in the rhythm and flows in, in the, the way that they have a conversation, you are going to have to try to match that or else that other person is going to have to try to match you. Right. So if that doesn't happen, if you cannot get to his level, then he will eventually have to come to yours. But that's usually the rule. Right. And so how does this read out? Well, I want you guys to pay close attention to the bold, the letters that are in bold. And how would that read in a conversation, right? So let me set the screen here. The teacher is Bernie. Okay. Bernie is the teacher. Okay. The principal is the principal. There's no need introduction on that one. Helen is the mom. Dash is the son. And Bernie is really upset. Bernie's really upset because Dash keeps messing with him. All right, and it's an ongoing thing. So he's had enough. He's just had enough. And what he did is he took evidence to the principal. The principal called the mom, and now they're having a parent meeting, and everybody's together in the office. Bernie's really upset. The principal is not upset. Remember, he's the he's the mediator. Dash is a little concerned. But Helen is also pretty upset. Now, have you guys ever had to go to your kid's school? If you guys have kids, have you guys ever had to go for a not so good reason? How did you feel going to the school? How did you feel? Right? What was that feeling like? Uh, mire, Maricela, necesitamos que venga porque... Fíjese que su hijo se ha peleado y, pues, ¿verdad? Hay sangre por todos lados en el baño. Oh, my God. What? You know, there's a lot of things going on. And you hope that your kid wasn't the one that was bleeding that much, right? And so there's a lot of things going on. So I want you guys to kind of think of it that way. When you guys look at this role play. So I'm going to ask you guys for volunteers. I need, let me see, how many do we need? Who wants to be Bernie the teacher? Very angry. Maricela, you want to be angry the teacher, the, the angry teacher? Or who do you want to be? I'll let you choose. Maybe. Maricela, you want to, do you want to? <laughs> Helen, okay, let's let's do it like that. So let me put, I'm going to put Mar for short, and then I'm going to put Helen. Okay. I'm a mom. Who else wants to volunteer? Who would like to be the principal? Really easy. I'll be the principal. Nice, Max, nice. Max is the principal. That's pretty easy. All I'm right. the principal. When, who? Vanessa. Vanessa, do you want to be? Do you, what else do you want to be? Me, Love teacher. It. I changed my microphone. Oh, okay. Well, I, I see that. Vanessa, I know that you wanted to be the principal. We couldn't do the principal. Would you like to be somebody else, Vanessa? ¿A quién tenemos más? That's it. We have Dash. <laughs> I'm the principal. Pero Madeline, Max, volunteer for the principal. Oh, we can do, yes. we, Don't worry about it, though. We can do it again. Let her go. Let's Let her go. go. Helen. Let her go for it. Dash will I'm, be Vanessa. I'm Helen. No, but Madeline, Helen is Maricela. 
Manager. Max Max is giving up. Yeah. Yeah, Max. Let her go for it. Okay. Okay. Adelina, you are Dash. Principal. Principal. Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. So you started okay. off. <laughs> you started off, Adelina. Okay. Remember. Okay. Uh, remember, right? Right now. The feeling. Right See. Now? Tres. Dos. Uno. Go. I appreciate you coming down here, Mrs. Barr. What is this about? Has Dash done something wrong? Bernie. Please, Bernie, teacher. Nobody's Bernie. Nobody's Bernie. Bernie. Nobody's Bernie. Oh, oh no, my nobody's God. Bernie. <laughs> Sorry about that. Max. Again. Okay, I'll go, I'll go for Bernie. All right. Again, three, two, okay. one. I appreciate you coming down here, Mrs. Farr. What's this about? How's Dash done something wrong? He's a disruptive influence and he openly mocks me in front of the class. <laughs> Dash. <laughs> who is Dash? Dash. Vanessa. Vanessa. Who is Dash? Again. You had an audio problem. There's Vanessa. another. Yeah, there was. We couldn't hear. That's okay. That's okay. Vanessa, I, I, anybody else want to do Dash? No, we can't hear you, Vanessa. We no. can't hear you. Yeah. Hoy que quería participar, como es Vanessa, hoy quería participar. No worries, no worries. All right, who can do dash? Who wants to volunteer for dash? Me. Is Daniela? Okay, Daniela, dash. Okay, so here we go. Let me, before we go, let's work on some pronunciation, okay? Yeah. The word, uh, uh, but listen, listen, this is how you're going to say it, right? This is the correct pronunciation. Appreciate. Appreciate. One, uh, put a little bit more sh on that one. Sh appreciate. Appreciate. There we go. You got it, Adelina. Say it again appreciate. one more time. Say it, say it again for me. Appreciate. Adelina, we lost Adelina. No. Did we did we lose Adelina? No, you're there. You're I can hear you. Okay. Okay. Now the next one. Um actually Maricela, you the first time you said something, it sounded different, but when you did it the second time, it came out correct. Just remember to keep the same one as you did before. Something, something. All right. And then here for Bernie, Max. Okay. Influence. Influence. There you go. You got it. There we go. All right. All right. All right. Everybody said Marca. Marca. Luz. Luz. <laughs> Tres. Dos. Uno. I appreciate you coming down here, Mrs. Barr. What's this about? Has Dash done something wrong? It's a disruptive influence. And he openly mocks me in front of the class. He says, Look, I know it's you. He puts thumbstacks on my stool. You saw him do this? Well, not really. No, actually not. Oh, then how did you know it was him? I hit a camera. Yeah, and this time I got him. Oh, there we go. I hid a camera, right? So if you guys remember the Incredibles, 
this is the sh this is the this is the little portion where he plays the video and then you know he runs so fast okay all right yeah. all right so what could i this word here thumb tax but it's it's one big word max so, that was the first time that I saw that word, uh, but tachuela. I tried, I tried. Las tachuelas. Yeah. Well, uh, I understood um, what it is, but I never okay. saw that. All right. And then uh, so so Thumb even packs. though there we go, but now say it faster. Thumbtacks. There you go. You got it. You got it, my man. That's how that's how you do it. Thumbtacks. De una sola vez, one one sound, thumbtacks, right? Okay. And it, they put a little bit of emphasis on the thumb. Because because it's a compound word, right? It's a thumb tack, and then so it, it gets a little bit of extra jump at the very beginning. Thumb tacks. All right. Okay. Switch it out a little bit. I want us to do it a little bit faster. So same people, stay in place. We're gonna read it. We're going to try and reading it a little bit faster. Okay. Remember, appreciate. No, no, you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Sí. <laughs> Maris, sí. Marisela, tiene más mala, Helen. Sí, Ooh, that's, a, yes. that's a big, that's a big role, Marisela. That's a big role. All right, yes, let's yes, do I it. Know. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Tres. <laughs> quiet on the set. Quiet on the set. Tres, dos, uno. I appreciate you coming down here, Mrs. Carr. What's this about? Has Dash done something wrong? He's a disruptive influence, and he openly mocks me in front of the class. He says, Look, I know, it's you. He puts thumbtacks in my stool. You saw him do this? Well, not really. No, actually not. Oh, then how do you know it was him? I hid a camera. Yeah, and this time I got him. This time I've got him. Good, good. All right, so look at, look at what's happening. Everybody is in the same conversation, but everybody has the same rhythm. Everybody's doing the same rhythm, right? And so the angrier you get, or the, you know, the more feeling you put into it, the more you will notice this. And what happens is it's contagious. You know, as soon as you start doing it, the person that's next to you that you're having the conversation with will start doing it as well. And so when you guys hear, when you guys watch movies or when you guys watch a series or when you guys, um, I'm gonna say series and, and, and movies, when you see two people talking to each other, right? This is where this is used the most because they have to have the same rhythm. Uno le tiene que hacer el, el, como el, 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 el secundario al otro. So one person is kind of leading and then the second one is kind of following, but they're both following the same pattern especially with when it has to do with a, a conversation that involves involves them you know it could be a couple it could be a, a, a friendly relationship or, or a relationship between friends but it will always have the rhythm it will always have the rhythm right okay so now with the rhythm there's also one more that we have to let me see here. It, I think it froze. Give me one second. It, it freezes from time to time. Hold on, hold on. Here you go. Okay. Okay. And this is the last portion that we were talking about. The intonation. Okay. High, low, high, low, high, low. This is how you incorporate that that little rhythm. How do you make it sound? 
How am I going to make it sound? And so what you do is you lower your voice, you make it high, you make it low, you make it high, you make it low. And there's rules for that as well. What is it that you're trying to say? Well, there are two types of intonations. It's rising and it's falling, okay? So just to make it kind of easier for all of us, right? If you, for example, have a statement, if you want to declare a statement, the intonation will always fall. Nice to meet you. Comenzá bien alto y bajas. Nice to meet you. That is a falling intonation. And so in a conversation, you have to mix them up. You're going to start the first portion with a statement. It has to start high, and then it drops, and then it goes back up, depending on what, you're, what you are going to follow it up with. And so a statement, always, guys, if you guys are going to declare statements, let me go ahead and make this big. Your intonation should always be falling. I'll be back in a minute. ¿Se acuerdan de Arnold Schwarzenegger? I'll be back. Huh? Mm. Yeah. That is a falling intonation used properly. She doesn't live here anymore. Iba has el volumen. Dad wants to change his car. Dad wants to change his car. Who wants to change the car? Dad wants to change his car. Here is the weather forecast, and then it drops. I don't know if you guys have ever seen El Urbina. No. Here is the weather forecast, and then it drops. So statements always dropping. Commands, when you command something, when you give a command, always dropping as well. Write your name. Comenzá bien alto. ¿verdad? Write your name. Y le bajas volumen. Write your name. Show me what you've written. Leave it on, leave it on the desk. Take that picture down. Take that picture down. Falling, falling, falling. When you ask a question, and that question starts with who, what, why, where, when, which, or how, it will start high and it will drop because it uses a falling intonation. Where do you work? Where do you work? It starts very loud, and then it drops. Okay? All right. When do I raise my intonation? Rising intonations are used when you ask a yes or no question. Do you like your new teacher? Casi así va. Estoy exagerando un poquito because I don't want you guys to sound like that. But that's how we can show it to you. Hey, do you like your new teacher? And then it's like rising up. Claro que sí. La barba, los lentes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, have you finished already? Have you finished already? Have you finished already? Mm -hmm. Comenzar bien bajo. Have you finished? And y después el jalón. El jalón. Have you finished already? Y subís el volumen. Have you finished already? This is rising intonation. When you have a question tag, which means that it's a two-part question, Hey, we've met already, haven't we? We've met already. 
haven't we? And then the volume goes back up. You like fish, don't you? Y subimos el volumen otra vez. There's the examples of rising and falling intonation. When do you rise and fall or fall and rise, right? When do you do this? Well, the most common is rise and fall if they are going to be used together, okay? If you are giving somebody choices, are we going to Starbucks on Thursday or Friday? Thursday is the first option. That one gets the boost. Friday is the second option. They get the lower volume. Are you having the soup or salad? Are you having the soup or salad? So whenever you guys give choices, the first option is a little bit higher and louder than the second one. Does he speak German or French? volumen. When you guys are talking about a list, Comenza bien alto, mantenes, and then it drops. We went to the market. We picked up some apples, pears, bananas, and oranges. Apples, pears, bananas, and oranges. And then we drop. We drop it like it's hot. Okay. When there is a, well, unfinished thoughts. And the reason we put it there is because usually we have options at the end. Do you like my new handbag? And then you reply, leather is nice, but, and then como, you know, you're, you're about to say something bad, then you lower that volume. Okay. All right, so what does this have to do? Well, when you are having a conversation, this is what is getting used in pronunciation. If you miss your intonation, somebody's gonna get confused about the feeling of the message. I am really happy, I am really happy that we are celebrating my birthday. Huh? It's a little bit confusing because they're telling you that they're happy, but their voice is saying something else. Right? There are people who just automatically work that way and that's how they communicate. And so, those persons speak in a monotone way. Have you guys ever heard of that? When somebody says monotone. There is no change in your tone. There is no high or low. Every message that you give is always flat and always the same. And so that can be critical when you are trying to give a message of happiness, uh, when you're trying to be thankful, uh, when you really enjoy something, okay? So I want you guys to kind of keep all of that in mind because in reality, we use this a lot more often than you think. Like this, the intonation is pretty much on everything. I try to use it as much as possible. I try to work on my flow, on my rhythm. I try to maintain as much as possible the correct word stresses because I don't want to throw you guys off whenever you know we're sharing information. 
Okay. All right. So with this one, who would like to try rising exercises? And you can choose, it could either be a statement or a command, which are the most common. We can do Vanessa. Vanessa, let's try let's try falling intonation. Do you want to try statements or commands? There's a, there's a there's a lot for you to choose from actually. You can hear me, teacher. I can hear you now. Yes, okay. ma'am. Uh, what is the practice? Sir? All you have to do is read it and remember that it's falling. All the statements. That is correct. Uh, do you want to okay. do statements or do you want to do commands? Whatever you, whichever one you want to use. A statements, of course. The statements, okay. All okay. right, choose, choose one and then read it out. Okay. Um, I am going for a walk in the park. Where are you going? Park. <laughs> I'm going... <laughs> Dale, I'm going for a walk. I'm going for a walk in the park. In the park. All right. All right. That's it. That one. That one. That one's actually. Uh, that one. I would say that it's pretty easy. The only thing you have to remember is that at the very end, you can lower your volume a little bit, and that is the only thing you need. So I'm going. I'm going for a walk in the park. Right. I'm going for a walk in the park. And then you lower that voice at the end. Let's try another one. I'll be back in a minute. Ah, there we go, right? I'll be back. <laughs> Porque Arnold Schwarzenegger, we love, we love Arnold, all right? I'll be back in a minute, right? I'll be back in a minute. Okay, all right. So statements will always get you falling intonation, okay? I'll be back in a minute. And then you go from there. All right. Let's see if we can do one, Vanessa, that's rising. A ver, let's try one of these yes, no questions. Okay. Okay. Um, may I borrow your dictionary? There we go. Ahí está. May I borrow your dictionary? And then it, it, it has a little bit more attention. It has a little bit more focus. It has a little bit more volume. That's it. That's it. You got it, Van. All right. Anybody else want to try? How about rising and falling? Anybody want to try the rising and falling intonation? We can do a list, a quick list. You went to the market and you picked up what? Who wants to try it? Who wants to try it? Do, 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 do. Volunteers. All you have to do is read and follow the arrows. Anybody? Anybody? Can anybody? Me, teacher. There we go, me, Iris. There me, we me, go. Teacher. Can, can for Maricela. Maricela or Iris? Yes. Maricela, okay. Me. Maricela, help me with the list. One, one from the list. Okay. We've got we got apples, pears, bananas, and orange. All right. Remember, we start up high on this one, right? We've got apples, pears, bananas, and oranges. Ivaja. Try it one more time, Maricela. We've got apples, pears, bananas, and orange. There we go. There we go. You got it. That now we got it. Now we got it. So and what we're looking for, when you guys see falling and rising intonations, the first one you're excited about. The second one, not so much. And then the third and the fourth, ah, you know, you just happen to get them. So you lose the excitement. Um, we went to the market and we got apples, pears, bananas, and oranges, right? And then it, so there's the... Looks it's look easy, but it isn't. R right. And <laughs> you, you know why, Maricela? You know why it's hard for us to do the intonation? Why? 
because in Spanish, yeah. we don't really use it. In Spanish, you say whatever it is that you have to say, and there's really no, there, there's no you. There's no, there's no use for it. You know, if, if you guys talk about, for example, um, I want to say that the kid fell down, se cayó el niño, but there's no, you know, unless you really want to put extra words in there, which, you know, some people don't like, but this is how it works. All right, guys. Um, let me see here. With this one, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. We barely have enough time, but I'm thinking that we might come around. And yes, I will do all I can to send you. Can you guys please remind me for the presentation on WhatsApp? I still owe Adelina the 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 name of that program for getting your English a little bit better. I still don't remember what it's called. I I, I don't know. I tried to ask my friends that are still working there, and they they never replied. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, como es nuestro último día, los quiero premiar. Hey, don't forget my radio. I will not, Max. I will not. It's, it's coming. Bien heladita. <coughs> Hasta con ese, con ese cubertor blanco que se le pone. ¿Cómo se llama ese hielito? Escarcha, creo que le dicen. Escarcha. What is my gift? There, I should be saying, where's my gift, Adelina? Where's my cake for Valentine's? And, and my roses, me dijiste que cake. me vas a mandar no sé qué, que no me vas a mandar no sé cuándo. I have, I have cake for all. I have cake. Oh. Here, in this house, prepare cakes for delicious, delicious cake. Here, a, in this house. Voy a llegar, y yeah. si, me, si me ataca nieve, I'm going to tell <laughs> everybody that I was, I was attacked by nieve. <laughs> Never. I, I just sent Nieve is here. Nah, there it is. Oh, oh, nice meeting yeah. Nieve. All right, everybody, thank you so much. You guys were wonderful in class. Hope to go, hope to see you guys in you know in the next modules coming up ahead. And always be prepared, everybody. Good luck and have a good night. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. 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 Teacher.